I was with others detained because of our background and religion. I was handcuffed for nine hours and standing up while I am handcuffed. I was subject to uh, strikes and physical torture. Eventually you travelled to France and you got on a small boat to cross the channel to come to the UK, arriving in spring 2022. Can I ask you what that journey was like? You know, we were in that boat for seven long hours and even the motor broke down of the boat. So it was really, really uh, a frightening experience. Why did you want to risk your life getting to the UK in that way? Well, I had to. I had to go to somewhere safe. Everyone was talking positively about the UK. Having said that, after my arrival, I was detained for three odd months. France is a safe country, though. But you don't speak French. If you don't speak the language, you can't find a job. You don't speak French. You don't speak English. Is that right? Here, at least you can go to a language school to learn, but there you can't. It's very difficult there. Can I ask how long you were detained for? I remember being in Dover for three days and then boarded a bus, a coach, and taken to that deport centre. We received a letter informing us that the government is intending to send you to Rwanda. At that point, did you, was there any part of you wishing that you had never left your home country? Yes. I had a pack of tablets being given to me for my mental health issues and I had a pack of paracetamol. I took them all. You would rather have died than been put on that flight? Yes. Are you relieved that, that, that your life was saved? Today, after the court hearing. Yes, I am. What would be wrong with being flown from the UK to Rwanda to have your asylum case processed? John, it's a chaos in Rwanda. There's no law and order in Rwanda. There's no legitimate government. There is some law and order. There is a legitimate government. I wonder if you could explain what it is you would fear about being in Rwanda. Check the internet, you know. You see killing, murders, everyday gangs. The government just, just serves themselves, you know. Your reaction to the fact that the Rwanda plan has been found unlawful? I am very pleased whether I will benefit from this decision or not. But why should these vulnerable people be sent to Rwanda?